racing against your friends both offline and online as you eat as many strawberries as you can. This is Kirby's Dream Buffet, a new bite-sized Kirby game that feels like a cross between Super Monkey Ball and Fall Guys. At its $15 retail price, it's a cute, charming, and sweet distraction. There isn't really a story here, so we're just jumping right into the gameplay. You play as a lovable, super tough Pink Puff who is rolled up into a ball, following their way through various pastry and dessert themed fields in a race to reach the end, while also eating the most strawberries along the way. You can either play locally up to 2 players with 2 CPUs, solo with 3 CPUs, or online with friends. In my test playing online after about a week, I didn't really struggle to find any other players but the quality of the connection was really a coin flip whenever I would play. Scattered throughout the racetracks are piles of strawberries that you have to collect as you eat them up. With every strawberry, Kirby will get bigger and bigger. The bigger Kirby is, the faster they roll, but also can't hover as much if they were to fall off the stage and try to recover. It's a scale of pros and cons as you try to collect the most strawberries and still come out at the top of the race. Along the race are little cookie boxes that include power-ups, similar to how they would work in Mario Kart. These copy abilities either help cause mayhem for other players by knocking them out, or by helping you boost to first place. It feels like a mix between the chaos of both the Mario Kart and the Mario Party series, only way cuter. Much like the city trial mode in Kirby Air Ride, the game doesn't end with the first game mode ending. Instead, after the race, you're pushed to go play minigames based on the stats that you came out of the previous race with. These minigames have you fighting off other competing Kirbys while also trying to collect the most strawberries yourself. It has that competitive chaotic fun of the Fall Guys games, but only a lot more adorable. As you play these matches, you'll earn XP that'll raise your level and unlock rewards. You can think of these as a built-in battle pass. With every new level, you'll earn a new song to listen to, or a new custom piece for your Kirby, or even a decorative piece for the cake model in the main menu. It's not the biggest incentive to keep leveling up, but it's entertaining. Outside of the main game mode, you can play the minigame separately, although it feels like it's missing something without the full race part attached to it. I guess if you're strapped for time and really just want to play those minigames, you have the option to do so. They're fun, I just don't think they're that fun enough to keep my attention by themselves. Visually speaking, Kirby's Dream Buffet looks delightful. I mean, it's pretty hard to make a Kirby game look bad or at least not cute to look at, and Dream Buffet isn't going to break that trend. Maps are filled with tasty looking desserts as your equally as adorable customizable Kirby's roll through the map. Kirby looks as derpy as ever, eating an absurd amount of strawberries and growing larger than life. The customizable costumes and colors help create this charming look to the classic Nintendo mascot that was addicting to keep changing with every race. In regards to performance, Kirby's Dream Buffet runs at a native 720p in handheld mode and 900p in dock mode. Both modes target and run at a long 30 frames per second. I'm happy to say that outside of some occasional internet lag on the online matches, performance ran fine while playing, at least offline. And of course, the online performance will vary depending on the party's connection. Dream Buffet's music is lighthearted with a lot of horns and flutes powering behind the tracks in this OST. It's upbeat, endearing, and just a really happy time. In fact, a lot of the songs feel like they could fit into the Mario Party game's transitional parts, like the end of a minigame or when the scorecard would come up. There are even some remixes of fan favorite songs from other Kirby games like Kirby's Air Ride to Kirby's Canvas Curse. Hearing these were a nice little nostalgic trip, although I still prefer the originals myself. However, just having access to these songs through the bonus rewards menu was a nice touch. Kirby's Dream Buffet is a sweet distraction that I enjoyed playing, but only for a few minutes at a time before I found myself seeking out something else with a bit more depth. It's one of those games that's fun to play maybe two rounds before bed or when you have friends over, although the two-player local multiplayer really limits that. You can play with the full party online, but gathering up to four players for about 20 minutes to play this bite-sized adventure feels like a lot of work already. It's a cheap price title, so the investment is pretty low, but it comes with a handful of caveats that make this a fun game for a small group of people in very specific situations. If you have some spare change and a spouse or friend or family member to play with around the house pretty often, I think you'll enjoy this one for a few minutes at least. 